stream software. All right, it says that we're going. Yes. Okay. I'm sorry, okay, folks. I don't know what happened. Your software just noped? It did. Or the server we'll or the internet. I don't know what. Something noped. Well, it depends. Like, did it nope both? Uh, did it know both Twitch and YouTube? So Twitch wasn't up. It was only YouTube. Mm. Mm. All right. Um, I'm sure some people have found it. All right. Let's, uh, let's continue then. Okay. Um, so we've talked about planets and how they can either through three body interactions of the of the within the system or I, I, you know you could obviously have a black hole or a star get very close and 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 kick a bunch of planets out into space as well um so i want to talk about stars that are on an escape trajectory and we'll do that in a second but it's time for a break and we're back all right, let's talk about stars. So what can cause a star to go on a runaway trajectory? So three dot body problems are still a thing. There's research that shows that globular clusters somewhat beat like a heart because they, they will condense down over time, getting more and more uh, combined systems. But then as those systems get towards the core, They'll undergo interactions that fling things out into much larger orbits so they'll expand back out. And, hmm. and so you have these star-star interactions that will fling an additional star. But the thing that is, is new once we get to the stellar level of interactions is you can also get things flung out during supernovae. And, and this is one of the things where we've seen many different runaway stars. And what is thought to happen is you have, you have the giant star, you have its companion, and the bigger of them evolves first, evolves, evolves, gets big, and hits the point where it's no longer generating uh, energy in its core, collapses down, and the collapse drives nuclear explosion, essentially. <laughs> and the force of this can Ling, that that companion star, uh, at a runaway velocity. You can also now, end up with asymmetric supernovae that just fling stars on their own. So, so the the actual like the blast of the supernova shot, like the you've got the star and the going around this other star, and then suddenly the star is no longer there, right? And now the star is, is on a slingshot trajectory. So to say it's not still there depends on the kind of supernova. So mm, it, it is okay. it is this combination of... Oh, that's you, a great point. Yeah, right. Because you could have it either completely disappear or end up with a neutron star or black hole. Exactly. So you, yeah. you have the leftover relic. You have the the explosion outward is going to exert force on things, and you have the change in the distribution of mass is going to change the interaction of things. End of the day, that companion star is 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 in many cases gone. Not all cases. Mm -hmm. It's deeply confusing that we keep finding systems that have an advanced star and a companion star. And and we know supernovae have occurred, but they're still together. So we're still figuring out all of the dynamics here. But sometimes you end up just with a supernova remnant and nothing inside, in which case the runaway object is running away from itself. <laughs> Which we all understand at a fundamental level. 